based on the fact that you're taking this course, you're probably working for or with a company that's affected by ITAR. So there's a good chance you've heard of it before. But if not, don't worry. We'll explain it now so we're all on the same page. ITAR stands for International Traffic in Arms Regulations. It's a set of United States regulations that control the manufacture, sale, and distribution of products, services, and technologies related to defense and the military. ITAR upholds these regulations by implementing the Arms Export Control Act, or AECA. Physical items or commodities like various weapons, rockets, satellites, or launchers are all covered. Further, design and development documentation related to defense articles, such as blueprints, photos, and diagrams, referred to as technical data, are also controlled by ITAR. The full definition of items covered can be found in the United States Munitions List, or USML. Essentially, ITAR ensures that these items can only be shared and transferred between specific U.S. persons, unless there are special exemptions or authorizations in place. For the purposes of ITAR, U.S. persons include U.S. citizens, lawful permanent residents who don't work for a foreign body, political asylees, or businesses incorporated under U.S. law. Non-U.S. citizens are referred to as foreign persons. These include anyone who isn't a lawful permanent resident of the U.S. or any entity not organized to conduct business in the U.S. So while ITAR often covers imports and exports, a license would still be required to trade with a foreign person within the U.S. Registration with a government database is required for all companies supplying U.S. ML defense articles, and you must have a license to export and import controlled products. The other non-trade specific regulations in the ITAR apply to things like filing and record keeping. ITAR is important to the security of the U.S. and other U.S. foreign policy plans because it prevents dangerous items like weapons and similar products, or the capacity to design them, from falling into the wrong hands.